Welcome back everyone, I hope you're doing well, and in this video, we're going to take a look at some small cap stocks that Wall Street analysts like for the second quarter of 2021. All three companies operate in very different sectors and they provide different growth opportunities for the next 5-10 to 10 years in the future. And this is the list that comes from some of Wall Street's best performing analysts and they've laid out their reasoning and their price targets for each of these companies. And in total, we're going to take a look at three different names, go over their current operations, the company's financial statements, and their expected future growth. But before we jump into stock number one, I'm going to ask you to please hit that like button and subscribe. I am the Gen Z Investor, and every single day we talk about the stock market, going over different stocks you can buy, and any major market news. So please hit that like button, subscribe for the daily videos, and remember, I'm not a financial advisor, and none of these stocks are recommendations. We're just taking a look at some of the companies that have been laid out from Wall Street's top performing analysts. And now if we move into the first stock, we have ticker EVBG, which is Everbridge. They currently trade for $129 per share, and over the past 12 months, they have grown by 30%. And at their current level, they trade with a market cap of $4.8 billion. And Everbridge is a software company focused on critical event management. And they're the leader in this industry, and their business wants to provide different software solutions to help every company and government during natural or critical disasters. They want to keep employees safe, alert residents, automate incident response, anticipate and prevent disruptions, and many more. And if we take a look at the article from the analysts, after their newest acquisition of X Matters, the company currently has a buy rating with a price target of $165, indicating more than 30% upside over the next 12 months. And after this acquisition, the technology owned by X Matters is only going to strengthen Everbridge operations and both together are going to have great synergy and hopefully expand the company's operations for the longer term. And if this critical event is categorized as any event that's going to put the people you care about or the institutions you care about in harm by threats of natural disasters, theft, hazmat, terrorism, or even cybercrime. So any type of major event, doesn't have to be physical, it could be digital as well, is what this company and their software is hoping to prevent, disrupt, and help companies respond to in an efficient manner. And they've been doing a great job of growing at a massive rate and now have over 5,600 customers in 2020 and are trusted by some of the largest organizations within the United States, which includes nine of the 10 largest US banks, eight of the 10 largest US cities, all four major global accounting firms, and nine of the 10 largest tech companies on the market. And we can see many other categories where Everbridge continues to dominate. And now if we take a look at their highlights from their investor presentation, they have posted a 53% increase in operating cash flow year over year, they maintain a 110% net retention rate, they are employing over 1,400 people, and they believe that their operations have a $41 billion market opportunity over the longer term. And right now, their total sales are growing with an average CAGR of 37% per year, which is absolutely incredible. And we can see that quarter over quarter, their total revenue continues to grow and has been expanding very rapidly in 2020. And over the fourth quarter of that year, they generated more than 76 million of total sales. And if you're a subscriber to the channel, you know I'm personally a big fan of companies who drive a majority of their revenue through a subscription model. And we can see 89% of this company's total sales are based off subscription and the average contract length is at 1.9 years. And I'm a big fan of subscription companies because with that business model, you have consistent cash and revenue coming into the business every single month and every quarter as time goes on and it's very easy to forecast annual sales growth for many years in the future. And now let's take a look at Everbridge's current balance sheet where they have around 600 million of total current assets and short term debt coming in at 236 million. So right now they have a very nice current ratio well above two and over the shorter term they are in a very strong financial position. They have total assets of around 960 million compared to total debt of around 708 million. 
So overall, their balance sheet is in a solid position for a smaller cap company at this current point in time. And if we take a look at some future growth projections, analysts are forecasting 26% sales growth in 2021, followed by another 24% in 2022 to around 427 million of total revenue. And for the next five years in the future, they're expecting some massive share price appreciation. And at this current level, the company is considered a strong buy coming in at a 1.6 and the current share price of $129 is well below the 12 month expectation set at 166. So right now there is some implied upside over the next few months. And recently, JP Morgan Chase has just upgraded the company to an overweight position. So Everbridge is definitely an interesting name to take a look at right now. It's on the list of top stocks that Wall Street analysts like for the second quarter. And after their latest acquisition, the company's projected to grow for long into the future and definitely a smaller cap name worth looking into for your own growth portfolios. And now we're going to continue on with stock number two, which is ticker AZRE Azure Power Global. The company currently trades for $27 per share and has climbed up over 87% on the 12 month chart. And they currently sit with a market cap at 1.34 billion. But over the past few weeks, we can see a major decline in share price and from a high of close to $50 per share, they have now fallen over 45% back down to their current level, which is a much more attractive price point. And this company, as the entire market shifted out of the high growth names and into more value plays, they have seen a major pullback. And they operate in the renewable energy space on the international front. And Azure Power Global is one of the top developers of utility scale solar power in India, which is one of the fastest growing countries in the world. And right now, RBC Capital has placed a buy rating on the stock with a $42 price target representing close to 50% upside from their current level. And they see Azure as a way to play power in solar demand in India, which is projected to grow by nearly 145% through 2040. And as the entire world continues to trend towards renewable energy, this is one of the top players in a massive market that could lead to some great gains over the long term. And if we take a look at their latest investor presentation, they have the second largest solar portfolio in India, and the company has been growing their operations at 95% per year since March 2009. And Azure Power was the first ever Indian energy asset to list on the New York Stock Exchange. So right now, they're one of the few options investors have to get direct exposure to the solar industry within one of the largest growing populations in the world. And we can see that over the past quarter, the company's total revenue grew 16% year over year. They were able to reduce costs by 10% and their operational capacity grew 34% as well, which is absolutely incredible. And if we take a look at their financial statements, year over year, total revenue continues to grow with a record high of over 200 million in the trailing 12 months and they're trending in the right direction. And although this company has seen record sales growth, they are not profitable just yet and over the trailing 12 months, they have shared a net loss of $24.3 million. And now if we shift over to their balance sheet, Azure Power has short-term assets of $274 million and total short-term debt at $252 million. So a current ratio slightly above one and over the shorter term, I think they'll be all right. And for a company that's continuing to grow their operations, it's very good to see that their total assets have reached close to $2 billion and are continuing to grow every single year. And now if we take a look at their future growth projections, Yahoo Finance analysts are forecasting close to 22% annual revenue growth in 2021, followed by another 30% growth in 2022 to around $275 million. And going forward, for the next five years, they're forecasting over 100% annual share price appreciation, and this company is currently ranked as a buy with a two rating. And the current share price of $27 per share is well below the 12 month expectation of $43.71, so definitely some short term upside implied over the next 12 months. 
So if you're looking for a small cap company in the renewable space that is dominated within an international market like India, Azure Power may definitely be a name to take a look at for your portfolio and worth looking into and some further research. And now we're going to move on into the third and final stock included in this episode and another small cap name that Wall Street analysts like for the second quarter of 2021 and that is New Relic. Ticker NEWR, they currently trade for $66 per share and over the past 12 months, the company has grown by 26% and they now have a current market cap of $4.12 billion. And this company isn't really well known on the market, but they operate as a software as a service business that provides a platform for different companies all around the world to build, develop, and operate their digital businesses, which of course is only growing in demand every single year, and they enable their users to collect, store, and analyze data through various dashboards and illustrations. And we can see, jumping over to the article, that this company has just committed to restructuring their business into a manner that's going to reduce costs and increase profitability over the long term, and that's why they've been added to this list from analysts. And at this current point in time, we have a price target of $78, which represents more than 23% upside from their current level. And if we take a look at their latest investor presentation, we can see that their annual revenue is growing at a 40% CAGR every single year since 2015, and they have now reached over 600 million in total annual sales. And what's impressive is that quarter over quarter back since 2015, their total revenue every single 90 day span is reaching record highs, which is absolutely incredible. And I think going forward, this trend is only projected to continue for the next three to five years in the future. And taking a look, while growing revenue at such an astounding rate, they also maintain a very high gross margin of around 85%, which is in the top three of their entire industry compared to their largest competitors. And if we take a look at their balance sheet, Although this company is expanding at a terrific rate, they are growing revenue every single quarter, they are not yet profitable. So like all the other companies we've taken a look at, a strong balance sheet is essential to understand their growth going forward actually as the funding from the company's current financial position. And right now, they have total current assets of $979 million, with short-term debt coming in at only $384 million. So a very strong current ratio well above two and over the shorter term, absolutely no worry about any liquidity issues and they can fund their operations for many years going forward. And if we take a look at the Yahoo Finance expectations, total revenue is projected to grow by over 10% this year, followed by another 7% growth in 2022. And although this company has been included on the buy list or the watch list for this upcoming quarter, analysts are projecting 15% annual share price appreciation for the next five years in the future and at this current level it is considered a slight buy or even a hold with a 2.8 and the company's current share price of 66 dollars is nicely below the 12 month expectation of 72 dollars per share so around 15 to 20 percent upside to get to this price target and new relic is definitely another company we're taking a look at and doing some research into if you want some new exposure to a small cap software company with some strong future growth potential. And now we're going to wrap up the video. I want to thank you for watching to the end. And just remember, I am not a financial advisor. And what we went over in this video were just some picks from this article that lists the top stocks that analysts like right now starting Q2 2021. In no way were these any recommendations. I'm not a financial advisor. Make sure you speak with a qualified professional before you make any investment decisions. This was us just going over an interesting article off the internet. I want to thank you for watching to the end. Please hit that like button and subscribe if you already haven't done so. I am the Gen Z Investor and every single day we talk about the stock market, going over different stocks you can buy and any major market news. And I will see you in tomorrow's episode.